Hello and welcome back to FIFA 19, the DC United career mode. We taking on Atlanta United away at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium or Arena, I believe. I'm sure it is. We are currently sitting in second place. A couple of teams have played one more game than us. But, if we get this win, hopefully we will come, we'll, uh, rise to the top of the table. But Atlanta at the moment are currently sitting in 7th. They drew their first game of the season. Oh, this is going to be a very tough, tough test. This season, he's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. So Atlanta welcome us to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and what a stadium it is. It's going to be an action-packed game. The fans are ready. The stadium is full. It's going to be a very tough game. Hopefully the boys are up for it. But how are Atlanta going to fare? Losing one of their best young players to Newcastle. So here's the Atlanta team. Oh, Joseph Martinez is going to be an absolute beast. He's definitely going to be tough to handle if he gets the ball. Oh, he's going to make things happen. And here is DC United's really lineup. For them. Got to be strong, there is solid. one They've change. Chris they McCann have, have has enough. come on in, in uh, right, but, uh, right centre back. Here we go for a kick off. off. Atlanta are at home. They're going to be looking for a good result in front of their home fans. And we are going to have to do everything we can. To stop Joseph Martinez. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out They're for definitely a throw. going for the quick throw. They're meaning business. Well, it's a nice bit of skill, but the defended well. Oh, Joseph Martinez on the ball now. Good slide in there. And he goes with the tackle. Very, very vital tackle. Acosta. Ball swung over the top for Areola to chase down the right hand side. With this attack. Swings one in See and the Ambrose there. there. Body on the line, gets it out for a corner. The pressure is building. Oh, that's good defending. Rodriguez with a strike. He's put that into his own net. What happened there? It looks like the ball was struck sweetly by Rodriguez. And Gressel, unfortunately, I think the ball hits him and goes in the back of the net. It was going off target. Unlucky for the Atlanta midfielder there. The, just heading the ball. Too much spin on it. Comes it's off his head and in the back of the net. It is an own goal that gives DC the United the lead the in this goal. game. Mora. Acosta. Atlanta are playing some nice football. It's Rodriguez. Ball played down the wing for Mora to run on to. Can Rooney or Acosta get on the end of it? The keeper with a punch just doing enough just to take it out of the way of the DC players. Brilliant there from the keeper. Um, Remdy easily getting the ball there. A real gift for Atlanta if they can make a chance from this. Oh, Martinez with a strike. Surely that's in. Yes, it is. You know, if you give Atlanta a chance and Martinez has got the ball, you know he's going to do something with it. And it is a goal. The players just could not get near him to make a decent tackle. And Martinez has punished DC. He knew that was going in the back of the net. Very nice goal there from Joseph Martinez. That does make it one all. So it's all square now. 
cost uh, making a run. Um, Parkhurst, very physical defender, doing everything just to keep that ball. And here we go again. Atlanta coming in strong and Ahmed. Quick reaction, saved. A very good strike by Atlanta. The keeper had to be quick to react to even think about stopping that one. We've got too many players back at the moment. We can't push forward. But here we go, the ball through for Areola. Good position for the cross. And Ambrose the there reading that corner. pass really the well. The Sticking lead. a foot out, getting the ball out. But here is Hamid's save. Very, very quick reactions from the DC keeper. In goes Let's see the if we can make anything from this. And the DC United players running into each other, acting like headless chickens. That is not what you need. Well read by the defender. That is idiotic play from the DC players. Rodriguez. Here's Rooney. Shots on here. Oh, really, really? Acosta, you need to be doing better from that. But it didn't help that Rodriguez ran straight in front of him. His own man putting him off. Durkin, he's got nobody to help him. Ball play through oh, Rodriguez on this left hand side. Good header and a good save by the experienced keeper of Guzan. Very, very good save. Keeper showing safe hands ever. What can we make from this corner? On a wild effort wide there from Rodriguez. If they're going to take shots, they're going to at least lead, need to stay composed and get them on target. That was a ridiculous effort there from Rodriguez. Well, it is half time. Joseph Martinez, two attempts with one goal. He definitely made DC United pay when he had the opportunity. And an unlucky own goal from Gressel in the 10th minute to give us the goal. It's been a very, very entertaining first half, that is for sure. It's been very tough. But let's get straight into the second half. So the boys have come out, they are vigorated, and hopefully they can put in another scintillating performance. They need to be playing better. Wayne Rooney. We'll play through really nicely. And straight from kickoff, Atlanta were fast asleep. DC may come pay. Rooney finding the space and another push through with the ball and then smacked straight in the back of the net by Acosta. Guzan was beaten hands down at his left post. Very nice there from DC. Atlanta was fast asleep not expecting such a quick hit straight from the kick off. What a good goal by Acosta there. DC now in the lead, two goals to one. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Chris McCann. So here we go. We are in the lead. We can't afford to give it away. Mora. Mora with the ball. What can he make from this? Swings one in and Rooney. Rooney back to the ball, managing to swing his body round to get a strike. It was on target, the keeper had to make a save, and the player for Atlanta clears it. Chris McCann. Try and hit him quickly. 
Rodriguez with a quick strike. Brad Guzan with a very, very easy save. The experience of him is going to be saving them all day. So here we go. Durkin with a long range effort. And it wasn't far off from the youngster. So here we are. We're making a change. Canals is coming off. Moreno is coming on. He's coming off, I think. Seen making a run, the ball passed straight to him. Ball swung in for Rooney. Rooney's just not winning and winning any aerial battles at the moment. They're definitely trying to catch us on the counter. Boys, you need to learn to get a tackle in. You can't just let them walk through you, they will punish you. And on this right hand side. The ball swung over here. Plenty of space out wide. Can Ariola keep the ball? He is being now, is pressured. Swings one in for Rooney. Ahead. Wayne Rooney gets the ball in the back of the net. DC United fans are happy. They're away from home at the Mercedes Benz Stadium. And seeing their team down. Wayne Rooney with a 77th minute goal. That's his first goal in the MLS. And what a way to get it. What a good strike there. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Game kicks off Montana's again Diaz. after that goal from Wayne Rooney. It's been Martinez. a very poor performance in the second half from Atlanta. But here they could possibly make a chance. Get out the way, stop running into your own men. Causing ourselves and problems the at the moment. Eight more minutes. Ball played through again for Here's Ariola to swing and one in for Rooney. Rooney well. just at the minute doesn't seem to be with it with these aerial battles. Tino's passing through to Gressel, through to Nagabe. A in what a brilliant way Rooney. to stop their attack and the ball right, over the, the top for Rodriguez <laughs> the ball just <laughs> drilled across the face of goal and Areola slotting the ball calmly and as sweet as you like in the back of the net Atlanta fans really do not know what is going on second half their their team has just fallen asleep and DC have made them pay they've come out the gates in this second half one in the result one in the win and showing passion DC now have this game all wrapped up you would have thought Ariola's third goal in the MLS it's a very right, it's good a score for, for him, and it's 4 1. The contest, really. just you can't the see really being torn apart. anything else changing the uh, well, fortune the of this game, game now. Mora. And there you go, that is the full time <laughs> whistle. Well, it turned out to be the Atlanta fans are disgusted with the performance the in the second half very from very their team. Yeah, You'd have expected a lot better with a team of their calibre and quality. But DC do go to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium against Atlanta and absolutely owned it. They had We had 10 shots, 6 on target to their 3 shots, 3 on target. Every time they had a shot, <laughs> they made it count, that is for sure. And uh, player ratings, Ariola's man of the match performance with a 9.4. Acosta on an 8.8, Rooney on an 8.6, Rodriguez on an 8.9. The defence held very strong, Moira on a 7.9. Hamid had to make that quick reaction save. Uh, Kenus on an 8.7. All the boys played really well. So in the end of this game, it finishes DC United 4, Atlanta United 1. So the day we've been waiting for this month, we do have a monthly scouting update. We have Harry Gagnon, 17 years old, overall 45 to 61, potential 67 to 91, 170,000. Come in my youth team. 
You have David Gibbs, 17 years old, 50 overall to 66, potential 58 to 78. I don't think you're good enough. Oh, and look at this. Frank Mathis, 16 years old, 47 to 63 overall, potential 70 to 94. He's 6 foot 4. We will have a look at you. George Guthier isn't good enough. Neither is Larry Sullivan. And Evan Williams here. 5 foot 11 overall, 46 to 62. Potential 73 to 94. You know what? We will bring you in. So, great job with your youth program. We at the club are all thrilled with the progress our youth academy has been having. We were hoping to strengthen our team with players developed from our youth academy and you have accomplished it. We take great pride on the development of our youth academy. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, the board. So the board are happy that we have brought in some fresh blood in the youth. Let's have a closer look at all the boys. We have Harry Gagnon, 6 foot 5 keeper. That's absolutely brilliant. 55 overall, 67 to 91. At 17 years old. We have Frank Mathis, right back, 16 years old, 50 overall, potential 70 to 94. And we also have Evan Williams, 16 year old CDM, 50 overall, potential 73 to 94. We'll leave these in the youth team for now and uh, we'll keep an eye on their progress. We now have an away game against Columbus Crew. They're currently sitting in second place. They've played two and won them both. They've scored five goals and only had three against them. That is pretty good and they sat pretty in second place on six points tied with us. Let's try and take down second place. Oh, it's going to be real hard this game. Columbus Crew welcoming DC United to their home ground. They will be looking for a tough game. So this is how the hosts line up today. So here is Columbus Crew's lineup. Zach Stefan is going to be a handful to beat in that goal. And guess he's Ardes, Higuain, Trap, Santos, Mensa. They're all going to be very difficult to beat. Here is a look at DC United's lineup. There has been a couple of changes. Seats in goal. Fisher in as right back. And Seguera and Stiber in central midfield. Hopefully, so here we go. Kick off against Columbus Crew. It's going to be a very tough game. This is with pace. Higuain's technical abilities. Seguera doing really well there. Playing the ball to, to Rodriguez. We saw that Rooney was making a run, but it was the wrong and pass. And we need to take shape under very, it. So very wild the pass there the from the DC man. And what a wild pass out wide an to Rodriguez. Well, for the volley on, he tried to end, get the strike, tried to get it on target. The ball was coming in just a little bit too quick for him. But it is. Showing great attempt there. Uh, Rooney just didn't release the pass in time. And Higuain and Zades can make a break. Down for Higuain. Back to Zades. Being a bomb. Very nicely intercepted. But here is Wayne Rooney. Good vision. Our chance. Oh, what was that? DC United players in a total brain fade. I think there was just too much pressure on him. But the ball has been swung in and easily dealt with out. Don't want to give away easy chances, loose balls. And a power strike from Rooney with not very much power on it. Steber is having a good game in midfield. It's not his natural position, but he is making it own in this game. So here is Mora to Rodriguez for a powerful effort. And Stefan 
having to make the save. Rodriguez was disgusted. There wasn't enough power on it for him. But equally good save. So a corner for DC. What can be made? Absolutely nothing. A waste of a corner there. Columbus crew, sorry, are on the breakdown this right hand side. They are going to make us pay if they get the chance. Um, brilliant there from Brilliant. The long ball played through for Rodriguez. Can he swing one in for Wayne Rooney? Oh, unlucky. DC almost getting a good chance there. Seguera, good play to get the ball. And here's the ball through the to Ariola. And what happened there? Both players left it. Neither of them knowing who's going to go for the ball. Another it's chance great. given away. But here is, yes, he's Zardes. He has so much pace. Fisher just missing the header. It should go off for a throw in. No, it doesn't, but that is half time. Both teams go in at the break. Nil nil. It's been a very tense half. We've had five shots so far in this half, and four of them have been on target. Their keeper is on form. Let's get straight into the second half. So here we go. Players are out the tunnel and start in the second half. Let's hope more can be made and the chances can be put away Stieber. it has been a pretty good game in all fairness both sides throwing caution to the wind and another poor pass given away in a vital area yes he's Zardes and the defender just runs out the way it must be how Zardes did not put that in the back of the net, I will never know. Absolutely gifted that chance, no one going in for the tackle. But DC are going to make a change. Stieber, uh, Stieber is coming off and Kanaus is coming on. Oh, and another poor pass. The DC defender just having another complete brain fart. Here's Rooney. And ball. here we go. In the back of the net for DC United. What a goal. Number seven, Ariola. Top scorer in the league as it stands so far. The ball played in from Acosta. From Rooney. And in the back of the net from the foot the of Ariola there on the right peg just beating Stefan to the right side of him and in the back of the net giving DC United the vital goal that they've been looking for in this game so the first goal it's 1-0 very nice goal it took 67 now, minutes for a the chance to be to put change. away in this game Working hard just to see maybe defensively a they have been really good and we haven't just given them back far too many chances In goes the corner. great they header away for Acosta just getting the ball out of danger out of play and it will be a throw from that to headed clearance here they come again, really yes, quick passes. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Oh, and again, giving the ball away. Just in. get the ball to a player that's not being marked by about 500 men. Be a substitution here for so the here we go, side. Ariola running down the right-hand side. He sees players make him run. Now, he so here we go, and he swings it straight into where the only defender was. Of course he does. Oh, here. The 86th minute. So here we go again down this right hand side for Jara. Swings one in. Oh, what a great save there from Stefan. Rodriguez thought, surely thought that was in the back of the net. So 
here we go with a corner what chance can we create from this and back on the volley and just over the bar what a fantastic effort there just rising the keeper was beaten it just didn't have enough dip on it Just one Brilliant to get the, the header. There that we go. The that whistle. is the full time whistle. Well, they have won it. What a tense game this was. Columbus crew was definitely pushing DC United all the way. DC United only having eight shots with six on target. Columbus crew having five shots. None of them was on target fortunately and the player ratings will tell you it was very very tight and Wayne Rooney with an 8.7 with a man of the match performance Ariola again showing he is putting in some great form and more on that left hand side with a 7.7 let's have a quick look at how their player ratings are Mensa with a 7.5 Stefan with a 6.9 it's pretty harsh on his account he did make some brilliant saves but at the end of this game it does end DC United 1 Columbus crew nil well that is the end of this episode it's definitely been a thrilling one and uh, we have two higher scouts that we can hire <sighs> If you want to send a, a scout out to somewhere, then put the country in the comment section down below and we will hire a scout and we will send them there. But obviously, this is console. We, uh, we are limited on where we can send them. So please take that into account when you are typing in the comments about a country. And then we will put the scouts to work and we'll scout the country of your choice oh yeah, two very tough games taking on Atlanta beating on full one definitely showing up in the second half then going against Columbus crew they definitely put up a fight I think a draw would definitely have been a fair result in this game but we do come out with the win in the next episode we will be taking on Houston Dynamo at home and then we'll be taking on Sporting Kansas away another two hard fought games we're definitely gonna have to put our all in if we want to get anything from them matches well if you did like this episode and you enjoyed it then hit that like button for me smash that subscribe button for me it definitely helps this channel out and hit that notifications bell icon and you'll be notified every time a new com video comes out on this channel and until then i'll see you in the next episode